All right, so in this video, we're gonna be doing some practice with representing functions as power series. Now, I really want you guys to, you know, be trying these examples, you know, pause the video, try them before we start. And, and so I started you off with a really nice example. I'm not gonna get too rigorous in this video anyways, because the next stuff that we're doing, that's gonna be, you know, where, where the rigor I think starts to come in a little bit more. Um, but anyways, let's, let's focus on this. So try this, represent this function as a power series. That function is one over one plus X. All right, see if you can do it, okay? So how we start with this? Well, we want that one over one minus X form, right? We want that one over one minus X form, okay? Now, when we get that, okay, this is going to be the series from or sorry, the sum from n equals zero to infinity of x to the n, okay? So this common ratio right here, okay? You know, the, the a over one minus r, that's where it comes from, okay? That's coming right from here, okay? So whatever's here, that's what we're putting here, okay? So how do we get it, it how do we get one over one plus x to kind of look like one over one minus x, okay? Well, all we have to do is instead of writing plus here, we're just going to write one over one minus a negative X. Okay. And now we have that one over one minus something. That something is negative X. Okay. So that is what's going to go in our power series. That power series is going to be the sum from n equals zero to infinity of negative X to the nth power. Okay. And that's your power series. Okay. Really, like I said, you know, not going to be super rigorous on you for this for this first problem at all. So, what if we wanted to find the radius and the interval of convergence of this? Well, that's pretty easy, right? This is a geometric series, and we know that our common ratio for this to be convergent, the absolute value of it, it needs to be less than one. Well, that means that well, these absolute value we're going to have a negative one is less than we can have a x here, right? That's the absolute value of negative x. And that's going to be less than one. Well, there's your interval right there. Your interval is from negative one to one. All right. And well, that means that your radius of convergence is going to be half the interval, right? So your interval goes from negative one to one. Your center of that interval is zero and your radius is from the middle to one of the endpoints. And that is one zero to one that's one that is your radius so now you have your interval of convergence and you have your radius of convergence and you've represented this function one over one plus x as a power series the sum from n equals zero to infinity of negative x to the n all right so that is going to do it for our first problem okay so for our next problem here we have the we have f of x equal to five over six minus X. And we want to find a power series representation. Okay, so how do we start this off? How do we get this to kind of look more like a one over one minus X? Okay, well, we can start off by just taking out this five. Okay, that five is not doing anything for us right now. This is still equal to five times one over six minus X. Okay, now this inside is starting to look more like that one minus X or sorry, one over one minus X. Well, how do we get it to look even more like that? Well, what we can do is we can take out a six. If we take out a six of the denominator, well, then we're still going to have that one over one minus something, but that something won't be an X. It'll be an X over six, which is fine. We just want a one over one minus something, some value. And that value in this case will be X over six. And you're going to see that when I do this in just a second here. So take out a six out of the denominator that gives us a five sixths on the outside. When you do that, you're gonna have a one over one, right? When you take out a six from here, you're gonna get one. And then minus, you're gonna have, well now an X over six. Okay? And well, like I said, you know, you have that one over one minus something and that something is your common ratio that is gonna go right here. Okay, so let's represent this as a power series. We have five, six, that's gonna be on the outside of our sigma. Okay, it can be on the inside too, it doesn't matter. It's not dependent on n, it's free to move in and out of the sigma. I'm just gonna leave it out for now. We have a five, six, we have a 
sum from n equals 0 to infinity of that common ratio to the nth power, and that common ratio is x over 6. That's going to be raised to the nth power. All right, so cool. Now we have this. Let's find the radius and the interval of convergence, okay? This, well, our x over 6, we know that the absolute value of that is going to need to be less than 1. If we take away those absolute values, we need to have a greater than negative 1, less than 1, okay? And we just multiply by 6 in each little zone here. To get that negative 6 is going to be less than x is less than 6. So there is your interval. Okay, your interval of convergence is from negative 6 to 6. And your radius of convergence, okay, half that interval, okay. The, the center of this interval, of course, is 0. From 0 to 6, that's 6. So that's your radius of convergence. All right. So, you know, nothing, nothing too rigorous for your, here, okay. You just want to get this to look something like a 1 over 1 minus something. If you can do that, you're fine with this, all right? That's all you really need to, to be worried about here, all right? So, yeah, that's basically it, and that's going to do it for this video. So if this video helped you, make sure to leave a like and subscribe by clicking my icon in the top left. You can also view the playlist for sequences and series, the explanation video for representations of functions as power series, and the next video in the series. Lastly, if these videos are really helping you and you would like to consider supporting me, I have my Patreon linked in the description down below, along with some other pretty cool links that you should definitely check out. See you soon.